in my pocket And I ain't worried none Got my ticket in my pocket And I ain't worried none I know where I'm headed and I know where I come from We went to the station to catch a northbound train Went to the station to catch a northbound train Might as well take it easy cause we've got some time to wait Sit at the cafe talking about the days gone by Sit at the cafe talking about the days gone by To the track, couldn't find a car. Went to the track, couldn't find a car. The doors went to closing and the train started to roll on. Went to the ticket counter. Ticket counter, we had to pay some more. Sometimes you pay the price that we know for sure. So many miles to go, so many songs to sing. So many miles to go, so many songs to sing. This train is moving so fast, I can't feel a thing. This train is moving so fast, I can't feel a thing. This train is moving so fast I can't feel a thing Start to 
worry, stressing out, get in a hurry some fine day. It won't matter anyway. Ain't no reason to complicate. Late in the evening when the sun goes down, I like to hear that guitar sound. It fills up the air, and I don't have a care. No reason to complicate I don't know the answer to all the questions So many crossroads and intersections Still I remain on the crooked highway Ain't no reason to Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Concert for the People. Thanks for joining us here today. Happy New Year. Thank you for the New Year wishes. Hope we're coming through and you can hear us and see us all right. Um, greetings. Yes. Greetings. Yes. Greetings. First yes. show of the year. 2023. Shocking. Shocking. <laughs> Man, there's so many... So many friends checking in from all over the place. Absolutely. So many friends. Thank you. Sure you make me 
right, that's our song, Mystery. Thank you, everybody, for the comments. Uh, hello, Pete. Hello, <clears throat> Lars. Uh, hello, Paul. Thanks for checking in. Thanks for letting us know that it sounds good and everything is working there on your end. I think this is actually our record for the most folks signed up for one of our shows. Appreciate it so very much, is, folks. Uh, Thank you so much. Pretty exciting. And yeah, we got a lot of things that we've been working on, a lot of stuff that's uh, been going on, but it's good to get 2023 off, started playing some some music for uh, people that we enjoy hanging out with. Yep. And this... Lo love that song. Doing my very best to make it as pure Sunny Terry as possible. Trying to embody Sunny Terry, not trying to incorporate any of my own thing or my own <laughs> style or my own licks. I'm trying to have it be all Sunny Terry, if possible. And if that's, that's right. if that's of interest to you, you may want to check out our webinar, the, our workshop that we did on the bird song, which is also pure Sunny Terry. Yep, yep. We always try to capture those traditional styles and kind of pay tribute to them by trying to sort of morph between songs, sound as much like some of these artists that we admire so much and uh that's it one of the styles now, now we're going to take a total turn and play something completely different this is more of our sort of modern sound would you say joe yeah yeah <laughs> what we're going to do right now yeah 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 Ooh, this is going to be going to play some amplified so you're going to hear a little bit of noise here while my little amp turns on that's yeah. right we're moving from the 1920s into the 1950s <laughs> So this let's, let's do the remember the the intro we were yeah. doing way back. Let's do that. Let's try that. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So when one we recorded this song, I was really pushing myself to uh, go for the longest possible breaths that I possibly could. Really, really getting out of my comfort zone. And then I met my friend Kim in Spain, and I realized that you could actually incorporate non-stop circular breathing but inhaling so that's what we were doing here at the beginning of this thing this song here and it's a nice uh nice change nice nice change <laughs>
Thanks for the applause. Thanks for the comments. We appreciate it. Thank you, folks. Thanks for uh, checking Woo. in. So yeah, this is what we've been doing. We've been working on, really, on this platform on being able to deliver online concerts since 2015. That's when we started trying to do this, I believe, with the concert window. And uh, to us, this is really, a, I think, the uh, ultimate venue because we have complete control over the sound and the look of everything. And, uh, and we just love being able to directly connect with our fans and listeners. Yeah. And I have to say, this is very significant because 2023 is our anniversary. 20 true. years, 22 zero years we've been playing together. So we thought we'd start it off with this nice concert for the people, but if you're in a generous mood, you can tip us if you like. That's true, yeah, we got a little tip button there underneath the, the video screen that you can click on and do that. We'll also send a thing in the replay recording too if you want to uh, not mess with that right now and do it later, we appreciate it. But of course, the show is free, our gift to you, and we love to see new people coming in, checking out. Um, you know what we're doing and we've really been pretty busy we just did recently our Miss Train revisited broadcast where we played all the songs from our Mist Train uh, CD live and then we also talked about kind of recording them the inspiration a lot of different details and we're excited to uh, let you know we're gonna be doing that with our IC special recording on January 19th <clears throat> yeah 
And uh, yeah, so we're looking forward to that. So we got that is going on. That's going to be up next. We got to start working, getting ready for that one, which the last one took a little more uh, work than I thought it would. It took quite a bit of focus and concentration to play all those songs, revisit them, and try to play them as good as we recorded them. Because we it, did some pretty nice It was recordings. a lot of work. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. Um, Fred made the comment that we can't see y'all, but I know <laughs> probably 95% of everybody that has logged in here today, and I can easily imagine your face. <laughs> That's easily. Right. That's easily, right. easily, easily. We can feel so. we can feel your presence. We can feel your presence. You know, um, cool. All right. Did you say 2015? Was that the first? I believe so. 2015. Terrence would know. Terrence, let us know. Terrence could confirm it, but I think yeah, that's when we were con on concert window. Uh, yeah, that was a platform that doesn't exist anymore. But we were doing Sadly. some live concerts through that, and uh, ever since then, we just thought this is a cool medium. We really like it. We like doing concerts this way. We like doing workshops this way, live, but with interaction. Uh, yeah, Donnelly, definitely, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't put it on a light pole, though, because it might be too cold out there. You might get stuck. <laughs> so that first song we did was pure Sonny Brownie as much as we could. The second one was basically blue scale stuff and really trying to get his dark blue ornery Chicago blues sounding as possible. And this one is completely different. I'm trying to embody uh, partially Gwen Foster, an old time uh, harmonica player with kind of a folk approach to playing. That's right. And this is actually a song that that my grandfather wrote. My grandfather liked to sing a lot and he would sing a lot of sort of campfire type songs, I guess you could say. But this was one that he wrote and I helped him arrange it a long time ago, figured out that it worked well as a waltz. And so we ended up, this is the first waltz that we yeah. recorded. On a, on a D harp. Is it okay if they sing along on this one, oh, Joe? Yeah. Okay. okay. Sing along, folks. Don't be shy. There are a million and one things to know. There are thousands of places to go. There are things, dear, that I'd rather do. What up? My time is for you. Time is for you. Time is for you. Hours mean nothing. My time is for you. Time is for you. Time is for you. Daytime and nighttime. My time is for you. There are those who I like to be near. Our friends bring me good cheer. There's some who are just passing through. But all my time is for you. Time is for you. Time is for you. Hours mean nothing. My time is for you. Time is for you. Time is for you. Daytime and nighttime. My time is for you. Time is for you, time is for you, 
Hours mean nothing, my time is for you. Time is for you, time is for you. Daytime and nighttime, my time is for you. Time is for you, time is for you. Hours mean nothing, my time is for you. Time is for you, time is for you. Daytime and nighttime, my time is for you. All right. Song by Harry Noted from the Destination Unknown album. Nice. And we got some nice feedback from our... Cajun friend Jerry de Villiers. Oh, Listen hey Jerry, us. all right. And it's really nice. We got some real great friends there in Germany watching us. There's too many to name, but definitely we're really happy that Angie is checking hey, it out. Yes. And I was Let's actually see. told that uh, our friend uh, Gunter Bayer might be uh, yeah. checking out the show from Guningen. Germany. That's, that's a right. that's a possibility. So if he's watching the show, then hello, Gunter. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Good to see some folks we haven't seen in a while. Stopping in, checking out uh, what we are up to. Right, what we are up to. This is what we've been doing. Look at Terrence. He come right through. Could be April sixteenth, twenty sixteen. It's possible. Wow. Thank all you, right. Terrence. All right. Cool. That's when it all started. So. Uh, up next, ooh, ooh, yeah. jug band time. Whoa, look out, look out, look out. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so this is another strange, I don't know, it's a jug band song. But I figured out that the way that made the most sense to play it was uh, in... The song is in E flat, and I'm using a B flat harmonica. So the root note... It's right there, the five inhale on the middle of the harmonica. That's the, that's the root note. So, a daddy stovepipe, which Kokomo commented about, you know, my nickname, Sunny Stovepipe, which comes from daddy stovepipe in part, uh, was <laughs> the first harmonica player to record in that weird key. It would be like key of F on a C harmonica. Harmonic. This is the twelfth. Yeah, harmonica geeks would call it twelfth position. Twelfth position. So it's one of our comical songs. You seem to write most of the comical songs, from what I can gather. <laughs> I'm I'm just happy to write anything. <laughs> I'm just trying to write something. Hey, that's good. That's good. You know, you can't take yourself too seriously, and that's what jug band music is about. I think you know, in part. Yeah. So let's see what we can do here with this. All right. Yeah, I can't believe what I did. I could just kick myself. If one did to see it, I never did believe it never happened to anyone else. I grabbed my toothbrush, squeezed out some paste. Quite horrified, I don't recognize the taste. Can't believe what I did. I could just kick myself. It's true, I could really kick myself. Can't believe what I did. I could just kick myself. It would never to see it. Never, never believe it never happens to anyone else. I fired up the kettle to make a cup of tea. The black smoke reminds me it's electricity. Can't believe what I did. I can just kick myself. It's true. I can really kick myself. Well, I wish that my life did not seem to always run amok. If not for the bad kind, I would not have any luck. <laughs> myself. If it was that see it, I would never, never, even never happen to anyone else. I raced off to work, distracted by the blues. Look down, later see two different shoes. Can't believe what I did. I could just kick myself. It's true. I could really kick myself. Can't believe what I did. I could just kick myself. If it was that see it, I would never, never, even never happen to anyone else. I paid for 50 on pump number 10. 
gone off, I didn't pump a drop in Can't believe what I did I could just kick myself, it's true I can even kick myself Well, the doctor says some problems come from a failure to plan There was something else he said of mm. Mm. Short attentions, man! Surprise, you surprised me. <laughs> hey, yeah, junk band music. That's fun, fun stuff to play. Woo. Thanks for the comments. Um, uh, hello, Je oh, Jesse yeah. asked about the tip. Yeah, there's a button here underneath the screen. Depending if you're full screen, you might have to uh, make your screen a little smaller. Or actually, what we can do, hold on one moment. We have the technology here. Wow. No, maybe not. <laughs> okay. So I want to thank everybody here and say, yep, this is a special year because it is year number 20 for us. 20, 20 right. years. 20 years together playing music. And we're still fun. friends. We are. <laughs> That's good. That's good. And we're sitting close together, like, you know, that'd be a sign that we weren't friends, maybe, if we had to have a really big stage and you had to be, like, 20 feet away, and, you know. <laughs> cool, yeah, so it's really hard to say that song, at least harmonica-wise, it's, I guess it could be a little bit like Daddy's Stovepipe, but I'm kind of just trying to get a big sound out of that strange harp-playing position lots of dirty notes lots of octaves there at the end so I'm trying to get get that all happening and what else did I want to say oh so we got something here really special next we act, it's so special that we actually did a workshop on it called the Mississippi Groove which I feel like it's one of the probably the number one most unappreciated guitar harp Grooves. I just don't think harp players uh, really uh, 
they, they just don't get it, I don't think. Except Otto gets it. Otto <laughs> is one of the very few that yes. has given Johnny Woods a listen and a good attempt. So, yeah. So, yeah, while we're talking about that, yeah, Joe and I have created a bunch of online workshops that we're pretty excited about. And these are kind of the four foundational workshops. They're all for sale at... Uh, rootsduo.com and they you know include downloadable practice tracks guitar and harmonica tablature um, over an hour of video on each one so yeah check that stuff out if if you like this song and you want to learn this thing on guitar and on harmonica um you can do so so yeah so nice so many friends from uh from trossing in the old yeah. bar 13 uh -huh. with, with our fearless bartender Matthias there. <laughs> and it's nice to see Joy checking in. She gave let us do a house concert at her place That's when we right. were fleshing out the material for On the Move. So appreciate that a lot. All right, got the resonator guitar on this one. This guitar is, works really nicely for the slide. <laughs> slide step.
stilted thing. And, and the, the fun thing about that, I'm not sure if it's fun for you, but as you can stretch it out, you know, and make it longer. Uh, it's got kind of a free form, it's kind of dance music, so you kind of play it as you feel it. One chord song, just one chord in that song. And even the solo is like a, a, a one note, maybe two note solo, <laughs> right? Uh, uh, that song, harmonica wise, is one of the hardest to play because it's very physical, very physical. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny Woods, uh, Mississippi Fred well, McDowell combination. It's, uh, it's so nice to see folks. We got like uh, the Harmonica Northwest gang, Elliot and nice. Steve Maxwell are joining us. Yes. A lot of my Chicago friends, uh, Baby Boy and Coco is watching <laughs> along with Jim yeah. Lucas and Tall Paul uh -huh. joining us. We got a lot of our Augusta friends. Claudia and Albert and Pearl and uh, Pete. Fantastic. Yes. And Hello, I think that uh, which is really cool is that our friend Mike Caldwell might be joining Mike. us in it too. How about that? Yes. Is that wow, cool or what? Some, real, some heavy hitters, some serious talent and power yeah, here connecting Mike, with us. Mike Caldwell is, poof, hey, I don't even hardly have words to describe what an amazing harmonica playing musician he is. Fabulous. Indeed. All right, yeah, now we're gonna play a tune for you from our IC Special album. Once again, the one that we are gonna be recreating, playing all the songs from it. And we're gonna be talking about the influences and the recording and the artwork on January 19th. We're super excited about that. Tickets are available for that if you want to um, Check it out. Yeah, it's gonna be. That's gonna be. I gotta start practicing for it. I think after the, yeah. after today. <laughs> but it's gonna be a lot of fun. And this is a tune that I wrote on it. Really after the first time uh, I went to Europe ever, and the first time you and I went as a duo. But you had been going there previously and had some friends and stuff. Some of the friends who are here today, and so you sort of connected a little tour for us and. Uh, and this was a something I wrote about when we took a train that I believe your wife booked the tickets yeah. for this really cool train ride, overnight train ride that we took. And uh, that's where this song came out. We should dedicate this one to Jerry, right? Well, Jerry and Angie. And both. Angie, yes. Because yeah. she was there meeting us first thing in the morning at the train station. And and so trying to trying to let's say, uh, feature the song with some like Cajun style harmonica and a low, low C harmonica. Midnight train, 
coming out of Paris Caught a midnight train coming out of Paris Son, it passed me down by the wife Says, we'll be in short, though, by morning time By morning time, by morning time Baby is showing up by morning time. By morning time. By morning time. Baby is showing up. Went down the road just to see where we could go. Just an old guitar, a couple of hearts, a microphone, and a few spare parts. Me and son went down the road just to see. into the distance now just to see where we can go Right, me and Sonny. Yeah, that's another thing that I love about this online format is we're able to get some levels of dynamics, I think, and a subtlety that we wouldn't usually be able to pull off with the sound system in a live uh, venue. You guys, it's like you're right next to us, basically. What you're hearing is exactly what we want to play. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is indeed true that in the live performing situation, it's rare to get a sound as well balanced and good. It's, it's pretty rare. And also, boy, I remember when you got that guitar, we, it had some things about it that were challenging as far as tuning goes. <laughs> You're so nice. <laughs> and then it was beautiful. It was, did you hear him on that last chord and me playing? That whole four seven inhaling split, it was just like butter. It was just so beautiful. In tune. Like, to be in tune. Oh. Yeah, we love chords, man. Both of us love the sound of chords. And uh, we talk about that a lot in our workshops, like how to play the chords. But yeah, the tuning of it does make it. Yeah, it did have, it was, let's say it was tuning challenged. Yeah. Before, maybe. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, 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 and, yeah. And it is just so beautiful. So, um, yeah, the, the uh, Wilfried is asking about Schorndorf, and that is Schorndorf, Germany. Yep. Yes, yes. That's where our friend Mason lived, who is was responsible for a lot of our uh, European success. A lot of our European really helped get That's the right. word out there um, a lot. So. That's right. Hello, Michelle. I haven't yeah. seen you in a while. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, Michelle. Yeah, all right. Fantastic. And That's Heinz great. is joining us. And Gene from Brighton Hove. That's just, just That's fantastic. Right. It's and cool to see an international audience. That's why a lot of time we usually do these broadcasts in the, in the afternoon uh, in our time because it works out pretty good for Europe as well. We actually said we were going to be broadcasting from Chicago, but we are in Joliet today. Truth yes. be told, we are live from Joliet, Illinois. So, yep, it's good to be connecting. Let's... So this was a, another song from uh, our On the Move record, and more than anything, I'm just trying to kind of embody the spirit of Sunny Boy Number Two, Rice Miller. And he liked to use low-tuned harmonicas. 
That's what I got here. Goes like this. Maybe the police. Maybe the police. Maybe the judge. Maybe the judge. Maybe your boss man. Maybe your boss man. You no know holds a grudge. You no know holds a grudge. But sometimes. May well be that you could be your own worst enemy. It may be your mother, maybe your mother, maybe your dad, maybe your dad, maybe a brother, maybe a brother who treated you bad. Treated you bad, but sometimes it may well be that you could be your own worst enemy. You may think the weather, may think the weather. Winter is cold. Winter is cold. This song took a U-turn. Took a U-turn. Way on off the road. Way on off the road. But sometime it may well be that you could be your own worst enemy. Well, some think the government, some think the government, some think the church, some think the church, maybe those generals, maybe those generals, so high on their perch, so high on their perch, but sometimes we may well be that you could be your own worst enemy. Most think the devil. Most think the devil. Some men think God. Some men think God. All the extremist. All the extreme. And fights his jihad. Fights his jihad. But sometimes it may well be that you could be your own worst enemy. But sometimes it may well be that you could be your own worst enemy. Nice job, Mr. Noden. Nice job. We actually hadn't played that one in a while. And thank you, Otto, for the uh, encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we do have a few tunes that are in our repertoire. There are these harmonica, duo harmonica pieces. And actually, we're, we're, we're kind of thinking we're going to do a maybe a train one on the next recording. We, we've been working on that. And we also have one that, that was on our IC special uh CD called Jaybird Mode. So that's what I got to start practicing T tomorrow. I'm going to start practicing on that one. We'll definitely be doing that and I'll definitely be playing harmonica on January 19th. It's going to be happening. <laughs> yeah, I like that. 
Hey, hey Flavio. Hello, yeah. hello. All right. And Jesse, thank Jesse you. Jesse checking in. Ant Sykes for the comment. Cool. It's good to see you guys. Thanks for chiming in, letting us know that, uh, you know, you hear us and see us and uh, like what we're doing. As we mentioned earlier, um, you know, you can send us a tip and I'll send a note about that when we send out the replay recording as well, but you should have a little button underneath your video screen that says send Joe and Eric a tip and you can click on that if you want to. It's not necessary, but we do appreciate it. Um, if you want to send us a tip, it helps us uh, defray some of the costs of running all this stuff. It is somewhat expensive to uh, keep it all going. So yeah. Hey, I want to say hi to my Joliet area friends, Jeff and Tom, and my mom. Yeah. Hi, mom. <laughs> All right. All yes. Right. And cool, Alexandra from Italy and Sarah. Nice to see Sarah again. We got to hang out with yeah. Sarah back in June in, in uh, and Gareth. Fantastic, yeah. Gareth. Real badass right. harmonica player. He's taking over the TikTok with that harmonica, <laughs> man. He is. He is. He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Can I ask him for some tips when I see him? So, well, well, we couldn't do a free show without playing this next song, right? That's right. <laughs> uh, I was just listen, listening to this some today, and it's, uh, yeah, it's a cool tune. This is one where we collaborated. I had these musical ideas and sort of a melody and... Uh, you and Michelle came up with the lyrics to this tune. So it's kind of one of our collaborations. Yeah, look, like, I, I think the lyrics to this song are pretty darn good because there are, there are two four-letter F words that really, really can make people, <laughs> let's say, bring out interesting emotions in them. And, and this is the other four-letter F word. <laughs>
you, Mike. Thank you so Woo. much. It means a lot coming from a professional like yourself, man. We appreciate it. Thanks for stopping <coughs> by, folks. And uh, yeah, free, cool. Yeah, we got a bunch of more tunes that we're going to play for you. We just kind of make a set list for these things. And uh, we just like to roll through it. So we got a nice, nice amount of songs for you. Thank you, folks. All right. Doc. Michael, hey! Yes. The amplified harp sounds, man. We appreciate it. The, uh, <laughs> the, the amp that I'm using is a really ridiculous amp. It's, this, this is a, it's got a <laughs> flashing light in it, Sylvania. So you charge it up with a uh, uh, USB, actually. And it's got a very distorted thin sound so I have to really get my hands around the mic tight to kind of get the bottom end to, to say anything otherwise it's really shrill yeah I mean it is kind of it's actually kind of an uncommon I think it's kind of an uncommon pairing acoustic wood body guitar with an amplified harmonica so it's, it's kind of a tricky yeah. it's kind of a tricky balance yeah. in the same way that the resonator guitar with the Acoustic harmonica is also kind yeah, of a, yeah. a tricky balance, so yeah. we're always trying to make make it so you can hear everything, but nothing is overpowering, you know. So it's, yeah, yeah. Trying to play with a lot of dynamics. That that song really more than anything is more Sunny Boy One. If you listen to the song uh, that he did, uh, what was the name of the song? It's kind of like, isn't it like sort of the honey dripper or the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was, yeah, because I remember we were talking about... Uh, Mellow, Mellow Chick Swing is right, the song. Right, yeah, Mellow Chick right. Swing. And uh, I actually created a study song that I called the, the Twisted Tongue Shuffle, I think. Mm. And, um, yeah, so, but... So it's a lot of low end of the bottom rhythmic playing, and and I, it took a while to create that part, that and it felt like it really added something special. So I used a lot of repetition in that song, quite deliberately, quite yeah. deliberately. It's a cool yeah groove. That would be a fun one to play with a band actually, because I can definitely hear a band in the back back of that one if they knew what they were doing. <laughs> and I I hear that Wally Peterman may may be watching. If that is the case, hey. then hey Wally, All right. man oh man, it's been a few years, bro. So awesome, Buzz is free. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So yeah, now we're gonna head a little bit back back into Sunny Terry Brownie McGee land. <laughs> Wow. 
a two-dollar bill, it's a good luck charm. Think I'll keep it, sure can't do no harm. Lost and lonely, if I could only change my luck and find my way back home. that one in, in a little while yeah <clears throat> feels good well, to get got, back into it yeah we got a nice compliment there from mike thanks mike yes, thank you man. very much cool right. another one thank of you. chicago folks jeff is yeah thank you jeff checking us out and of course buzz fantastic Ooh. well i got something <laughs> that i've been saving i got a surprise <laughs> it's gonna blow your mind <laughs> uh oh <laughs> You're yeah. scaring me a little bit. Yeah, are yeah, we changing yeah. keys? Are we still in the same key? Same key. <clears throat> yeah, but I decided that who who here among us has enough tone? Who has enough tone? Huh? I decided to go all out and get even more tone magnets. What? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, look at them. Oh my god. This yes. is wow. Wow. More right, tone. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. One second. Right, let me see. <laughs> hold that up again. Hold that up again. Okay, I got it. Okay, yeah, I just had to capture that. Okay. <laughs> it's documentary. That's right. Documentary. Because uh, really, I mean, you know, you want more tone. You want a bigger sound, right? Tone magnets. <laughs> That's right. You first heard it and seen it here. I like, to, I like to use a lot of one-handed playing, but with with the right resonator, actually, you know, it doesn't have to be. Of course, the tone magnets gives you a bigger sound, but here it is. It's like having it's like having another hand, you know. All right, here we go. Priest and preacher won't get out of here alive. Priest and preacher won't get out of here alive. Priest and preacher won't get out of here alive. Priest and preacher won't get out of here alive. Priest and preacher won't get out of here alive. Priest and preacher won't get out of here alive. Priest and
future won't get out of here alive. The show was there born, they're sure to die. Why don't you play that guitar for us? Your mother and your father won't get out of here alive. Your mother and your father won't get out of here alive. Your mother and your father won't get out of here alive. It shows they're born, they're sure to die. And your brother and your sister won't get out of here alive. Your brother. Babies won't get out of here alive. Even the babies won't get out of here alive. And even the babies won't get out of here alive. Sure as they're born, they're sure to die. Will you know Jesus when it is your time? Will you know Jesus when it is your time? Will you know Jesus when it is your time? The show is your born, you're sure to die. Because you won't get out of here alive. You're born, you're sure to die. Ain't no one gets out of here alive. No one gets out of here alive. No one gets out of here alive. Sure as they're born, they're sure to die. All right. Nice. Thank you, Wilfried. Thank you. You seen it here first. (laughs) (laughs) Some people are going to have to watch my (laughs) Mythbusters, my myth busting investigations. <laughs> All right, got some nice, some nice shout outs. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Steve. Thank you. Moving. I'm down. Huh. All right. Thanks, folks. Thank you very much. All right, we got a scary one next. <laughs> That's right. This one. <laughs> So we did a, a song earlier that was in a strange harmonica key. It was uh, her art players call it twelfth position, I'm using the five hole inhale as your root note. This one is another strange one, but I'm, I hopefully it doesn't sound strange when you hear it. It's in sixth position, so that's why we call it sixth sense.
from uh, our electric album that we made actually under the Eric Noden band thing and I was like hey man can you write this cool like an instrumental uh, like amplified instrumental I remember that was a pretty yeah. cool I didn't know for a long time I didn't know it was in sixth position I didn't get the whole the whole secret I, either it sounds good or it yeah. doesn't <laughs> right know? it sounds I mean, good really, it's <laughs> uh, it, it, a lot of it really came from uh, that the the Sunny Boy Rice Miller song "Help Me" has got this riff in it. And it's just a peculiar thing that that riff really works great in this sixth position. So it's it's e, e minor on a low F harmonica. And the bonus thing is is that that Sunny Boy lick also works too. That. You know, that happens to really work uh, nicely uh, also. You can recreate it pretty well. So, and that's kind of where the tune came from, the origins of that's it. That's right. You know, not a fun. And you really came up with all of that. You even taught me the guitar part. You're like, play this. <laughs> you're like, play a chord kind of like this. And then I was like, you mean this one? And you're like, no, this one. An augmented chord. How about that? <laughs> Noden doesn't usually go into there, you know. I charge extra if I have to play augmented chords. That's like jazz or something. Listen you know? to Come him. On, Listen to Mr. Major Seventh over here. Huh? <laughs> That's right. We're about to about to get into that world. So this next one is uh, <laughs> this next one is very. Not, I would say this is not bluesy at all. This is more the harmonica to me. It sounds kind of like an accordion, and uh, this is another one of our co-writes from the last album where I came up with the 
um, music and had this idea and you sort of wrote this kind of like a family history in a way, right? Yeah. This tune, yeah, yeah. very cool. Cool stuff. Yeah. And it uses this major seventh chord, which generally you're banned from blues if you would play such a chord in it's risky. a blues song. Yeah. It's risky. <laughs> Illustration My father's father's frown Replication Right here on my brow We don't know Devastation, my mother's mother's town. Relocation, ruled right from their ground. Families take a route Adaptation Dig a new life out
right. So, Woo! That's another one that, that has a super mellow. That, that's, that's a hard song to play in a live venue with people yeah. because <clears throat> it's so mellow, you know, and uh, and the groove of it, I think of that kind of as anti-groove. It's mm. like, I like the idea of that it's floating. It's mm. just suspended, mm. which is, I think it's all, that's also hard to do, like say with a drummer or something, because they're defining a beat. So yeah. I kind of like, it's almost like it just floats, hovers, hopefully. If dreamy, right. dreamy. And a lot yes. of the harp playing is pretty dreamy also. All, All right. right, some nice. cool things. Thank Thanks. you, Ryan. This means a lot. We appreciate it. Thanks, folks. Once again, if you like what you hear, you can send us a tip. Uh, there should be a button below your video screen that's got a little link that you can go and send us a tip if you want. I'll send you that info when I send out the replay recording, too. Also, thank you to uh, anyone who is out there and... Uh, you know, checking this out as a replay because some people don't get to watch it live because it's not in the correct time zone or whatnot. So thank you folks for tuning in and checking this out as well. Don't forget that we've got our classes, online workshops available on the website. We've built this cool online school where you can, you know, go through videos, download tabs, uh, and do all kinds of cool stuff. Practice tracks, lots of practice tracks. Right, Joe? Yep. The thing that's fantastic about these workshops is they are not full of lots of information, but they're full of the most important information in the most important aspects of these grooves played on guitar and harmonica. And we go into the maximum amount of detail on how to create it, recreate it, and what the what the bad habits are, what the things are to avoid. Right, right. Yep. And the cool thing I think that makes uh, these workshops unique too is we're really approaching it from a duo perspective and away from an ensemble perspective. So not only do you learn the guitar part, the harmonica part, but we also show you how to put it together, hopefully. Put it together and hold it together. <laughs> which is the tricky part, right? Yep. But, uh, so check that out. And we're super excited to be doing redoing our IC special uh, recording. This is our next big thing. If you want to support us, uh, this is a great way to do it, is buy a ticket for IC special revisited on Thursday, January 19th, two weeks from today. We're going to be doing that. That's pretty uh exciting and uh that's that's about it i think we've got one more tune we're going to end up with the title track from um that recording yep thanks folks and nice that uh that our buddy paul is joining us and windy city two pauls windy city yeah. paul and, and north carolina paul and there is also north carolina john too wow. hey all right Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, this is another song we're going to feature the tone magnets. What? Yep. I wasn't informed, so I could get <laughs> my extra resonator cone, you know, for the guitar or something, some kind of, you know, funnel or something to shape the sound. <laughs> and this is another one of the, the uh, grooves that we have not yet done today, but it works beautifully with the guitar in harmonica if they can stay in the groove together. It's beautiful. So here we go. All right. Thanks again, folks. Remember 20, 20 years this year. We've been doing it a long time. It's really fantastic. Give me a fist bump. There. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Heck yeah. And we may, yeah, we may have some celebrations in the works. We'll see. We'll keep you posted. Let's see. Here we go.
Late in the evening when the sun goes down Outside my window I can hear that whistle sound Lord, I heard that icy whistle blow My baby bought a ticket that was five feet long She said, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone Lord, I heard that icy whistle blow Thank you so much, folks. That is our show for today. Hope you can come back, join us on the 19th for IC Special Revisited, uh, or maybe we'll see you in person. Thanks so much for checking it out. This was our, I think, highly most attended, uh, or the most people signed up for one of our shows. So we yes. hope some, some of you got to check out what we do if you're not already familiar with it, and hopefully we'll get to... Uh, See you again real soon. I hope to see you at the IC Special Revisited, our first record of all original songs. That's right. Lots of stories to tell and lots of songs to practice. I got to go practice. I got to go right now, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> all right. right on. Thank you so much, folks. Have a Thank beautiful you. day or evening, wherever you are, and we will 